All right, uh, let's look at the quiz 2.1, 2.2, problem number three. All right, so h of x is given, and we want to find the derivative and uh, equ an equation of the tangent line. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so to find a derivative, first I'm going to rewrite um, h of x uh, this way. All right, so 5 is a number, so I'm going to put 5. All right, now x is sitting on the denominator, so it's got to be a negative power. And the day is a 2, so it's going to be 2. Then you have cube root, so it's going to be over 3. All right, then you have a minus x. All right, now we can take the derivative. So h prime of x is equal to, all right, so I'm going to leave phi, so that's a constant multiple, and put the, the power in front, so negative 2 thirds, x, and then we subtract 1 from the power, negative 5 over 3. And the derivative of negative x is negative 1. All right, so then we can clean it up a little bit here. So you have a negative. Uh, we have uh, 5 times 2 is 10 over uh, 3. All right, since it has a negative power, so x is going to be on the bottom, right? And then we're going to raise it to the fifth power, right? Then we have a cube root, so we have a cube root there. Right, then we have a minus 1. Right, so we have a negative uh, 10 over uh, 3 times uh, cube root of uh, x to the fifth minus 1. Right. Then if you want to find the equation of the tangent line, uh, so we already have a point, so I'm going to call this guy x1 and y1. All right, slope is going to be, so slope m is going to be, uh, we take the derivative of h and then plug in the uh, x1 value, which is negative 1. All right, so this is going to be uh, negative 10 over... All right, it's going to be 3, all right? Then if you plug in negative 1, so negative 1 to the fifth is negative 1, and the cube root of negative 1 is still negative 1, so this is actually just negative 1 here, and then minus 1, all right? So we have a negative sign on top and a negative sign on the bottom, cancel out, and we have a 10 over 3 minus 1, uh, that would be a 7 over 3, right? Because 1 is a 3 over 3. All right, so the equation is going to be y minus y1, which is 6, is equal to, and slope is 7 over 3 times quantity x minus x1. x1 is negative 1, so it's going to be plus 1. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.